Today we got a lot of hunting to do. We're going to be starting out with some white tail, working our way into some coyote fox, and maybe even some giant bull moose along the way. Ooh, there's a good white tail buck. We're over here in the spot where we actually hunted all day long that one day, and we have a beautiful white tail as well as this super wide 180 plus buck out here too. So I'd like to be able to try and take down both these bucks, and since we're actually in a tree stand, we should be able to do it without risking losing our zone. We got that really wide 180 plus whitetail out there. That's the one that I tried to get, and I think we actually did take a shot, but we did miss him, in fact, but he's out there at 260 now. So we're gonna get a follow up on him, don't you worry, but first, we're gonna take a shot on this buck here at about 160. That is a 300 Magnum. We definitely don't wanna be using that on this caliber of a whitetail buck, but we'll see if we can't take a hard shot on that buck there. And unfortunately, this buck. I think we just smoked him. Shot looked pretty incredible to me, and we got him a hit solid. Couldn't exactly tell you where we hit that buck. But it looked almost perfect to me. And if you look, we're by Lake Kawasak by Tuckerman Range, way up on the northwest end of the map. Well, would you look at this right here, guys? Our big whitetail is floating all the way across this lake right to us. Now, yesterday, we had a big old bull moose floating to us. Now, we have a big old whitetail buck floating directly across this lake right underneath our tree stand. So I am honestly going to say that we did, in fact, pull off a heart shot. It's just that that buck didn't drop because the new update with the heart shots. I mean, I can't imagine we wouldn't have hit heart. I was literally holding directly on the heart for 160. And if anything, we would have clipped the top of the heart, but there's no way we missed the entire heart. Anyways, this is quite the sight to see here. A big old white tail floating directly underneath us. In fact, let's actually try and get a pretty cool picture. Because it's not every day you have a big whitetail float right underneath your tree stand. There we go, we got him. And now all we got to do is drop down there and pick him up. But here he is. Let's have a look. 220.10 and we did not... Get a heart shot. We were actually a little bit far forward and a touch bit high. Oh, you know why, guys? Because we're up in a tree stand. We're going to have elevation to our shot. I totally forgot about compensating that into the factor of taking that shot. Had we have held just a little bit below the heart, we would have hit perfect right dead center. Still got a nice left lung shot and a beautiful white tail buck is down. All right. So it wasn't a perfect shot by any means at all, but it was in fact a non-vital hit and it will take down our buck. He's actually going a pretty good ways and I don't think we would have found him by not having the tracks on. So it's a good thing we did. All right, here's our buck down right over here. He went about 250, so definitely quite a bit further than what I was hoping for, 187. So that's the buck that we tried to get out of the tree stand. And I do believe we did in fact miss him this shot here was almost right on the money. It's just we didn't quite lead him enough and we didn't have enough penetration to go through and get a vital hit. Because honestly, from that angle there, you're talking we're going right through the back of the liver and coming out through the front of this lung right here. So overall, it was a pretty awesome shot. You're talking the exit would have been like right here. And you can't really complain too much about that. Ooh, there we go, guys. We got a call from a coyote, a male coyote down over in here. And there it goes. It's a level four cut across right there, right there, right there. Last time we were here, we had a whole entire pack of coyotes cut across right underneath our tree stand. We did in fact. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Uh, six. Smoked him. Perfect shot. He is absolutely hammered. Yes, we got him, guys. Whew. Now, if the AR-223 was as strong as it's supposed to be, that thing would have done a backflip and he'd be laying right in the middle of this river. But we definitely did make an awesome shot and he is not going to be going far after that. All right, so we got blood right here. And our Yoda's down right over here. Boy, it took me a minute to be able to remember which button our AR-223 was, but eventually we did in fact remember. And here he is right here. 
Perfect right lung shot, 74 yards out. What a beautiful shot. And a 44.32 orange male coyote is down. What do we jump up? Oh, we got a doe there. Ooh, nice buck, nice buck, nice buck. Uh, not as nice as I was hoping. There's a giant. There is a, oh my God, there's so many deer here. Are you seeing that? There had to have been 25 deer in that herd right there. There's a cow moose walking past us here and I don't really want her to attack us. So we're going to see if we can't just, Ooh, smoked her. She's already going down. Wow. Was that a heart shot on the walk? Oh my God. I think it was. But anyways, there are a ton of whitetail in this herd here. And I really want to get one of these big bucks. What do we got right there? Are they coming back? They're coming back. Oh my God, they're coming back. There's a doe. She's about 80 yards out. Oh, there's that buck. Oh, they're going to bed down right there. No way. That means our big whitetail is going to be bedded less than 100 yards out from us. And that's a nice looking buck there, but it's just not the big one. All right, let's watch. Watch for our big buck. And there he is right there, guys. There's our beautiful whitetail buck. He's about to bed down 80 yards out from us. Yep. He just bedded down right there. Look at that rack. Wow. All right, guys. Well, let's work our way over there and see if we can't get in position to take a shot. Oh, come on. We got a moose coming through here. All right, hopefully it just keeps on trotting. It doesn't see us. Yeah, come on, come on. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Whew. This is an awesome opportunity to be able to get in range and take down this beautiful whitetail buck. We got a nice ridge there between us and him. Do you see that tree right there? He's just on the backside of that tree. That means if we get to that tree, we're going to be less than 50 yards. And that is going to be in range for a shot. All right, guys, here's that tree that I was talking about right here. Once we get to this tree, we should be about 50 yards out, maybe even less than this nice white tail buck. He's just on the backside of this ridge. All right, guys, we just got less than 40 yards out, and I'm pretty sure that is our big white tail buck. I'm pretty sure that's him. In fact, there's a bunch of white tail right there. Oh. That's guaranteed him. Look at that rack. Holy. He's 40 yards out from us, but we don't have a shot. Look at that. There's a buck right behind that tree. A beautiful buck. It's not the one that we want, but he's right behind that tree and there's a doe right there as well. Holy, this whole bank is just loaded with whitetail guys. And I honestly don't know where our big buck is. He's alert, he's alert, he's alert. That's actually not bad. There's our big buck. Oh my God, he's right there, guys. He's right there. Come on, draw back, draw back, draw back. Woo! He's down. <laughs> oh, he came into five yards away from us. Eight yards to be exact. <laughs> and we smoked him. 213 gold right through the center of the lung. 8.5 yards away. Boy, that was definitely a tough little hunt there, but it turned out pretty awesome in the end, I'll tell you what. Anyways, for the time being, I want to get back here and pick up our cow moose to find out exactly where we hit, because I'm thinking we had to have pulled off a double lung heart shot. In fact, there she is laying right there. Boy, she didn't go... Well, she went down like 50 yards or less from our whitetail where they bedded. So that's quite interesting. All right, let's find out how we did. Yeah, we did in fact get a walking double lung heart shot at 58 yards. So perfect shot. And it dropped her right on the spot. Oh, guys, our deer is right on the backside of this ridge here. 
Now, I'm not sure which deer it is, but there's a buck right on the back side of this ridge. Trying to ease our way over there so we can find out what it is. Oh, there's one right there. If I could have spotted it, I would have probably taken that shot. Uh, it's not a bad size one, but it's not the biggest. All right, we're going to go prone. And just hang tight right here. Try and get just a touch closer so we can pick out that Y190 buck, which I'm pretty sure that might be. Oh, that's going to be him. That's going to be him. Where is he? Where is he? That's him. Got him. He's down right here. Woo! 193. Perfect shot. Double lung. Second shot. Double lung liver. There we go. Boy, it's been a pretty good while since we've actually seen a bull moose drinking down here. But we got one down here at about 280. Right out there. There's a cow behind it as well. So I'm thinking that there must be two separate herds in this area. But we're going to see if we can't sink one right into the heart on that bull there. Perfect shot. And that'll take him down. And then right around the point, I'm honestly thinking that that shot might not even spook that separate herd. But here's our bull down right over here. He was a solid looking level three. So let's pick him up. And it's going to be a 179. Pulled off a perfect double lung heart shot. Got him right in the top of the heart there at 230 yards. And then we actually might be able to get a follow up as well as they're going down this coastline here. Well, there was a chance that they would have cut across that river there, but apparently they did not. And honestly, I don't even know where they went. They were heading this direction here, and I kind of lost them. So they must have cut back into the woods. And there's also apparently an outpost here, which... Boy, I didn't see an outpost. Oh, there it is right there. We must have ran right past this thing. Oh, so there's a little lake right here, and I think we're actually going to swing wide to the right here and go check that out. Especially because the fact that a moose just... <gasps> big bull! Holy big bull! Holy, holy, holy big bull! Wow, that's a giant! That is a beast of a bull! Alright, we're throwing on our 600s. He's probably going to come right back past us here. And we also have the moose collar, which I want to throw that in and try and get this bull to come this direction here. Because if we can do that, then we can swing wide to the right and have a somewhat of a decent wind. Because right now, he's trying to beat us and have a really good wind for him. Don't have excellent cover. Oh, what do we got over here? Cow moose working its way on in here, trying to bust us as well. All right. Where is that big bull? Where did he head to? Oh, there he is. There he is. Holy, look at that bull. Big old level four coming right into the call, guys. Oh my God, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Where'd he go, where'd he go? He's behind that tree. Right behind that tree. Oh, here he comes. Oh. 80 yards out and closing. Oh my God, here we go. What a bull. Wow. All right, guys. He's in closing on the 60 yard mark. We're going to zero in for 60. Go for the shot because he's going to get downwind of us otherwise. 52 yards. Smoked him. Look at the size of the paddles on that bull. Oh my god, he just tipped over. He's down. I haven't been this excited at taking down a bull moose in quite a while. I don't know if it's because he was just so unique or because he was big and unique, but whatever it was, man, I am pumped to go over there and go take a look at this bull. But there's our bull down right here. And what a paddle on that thing. Wow. Let's go over here and go take a look at him. He didn't go 50 yards and piled right up. Looks like we had him right in the throat, but he was walking. 
and I bet the exit came out right through kind of the back of the lung and potentially even liver. But here we go, let's take an awesome picture of this beast of a bull. Wow. All right, well, let's pick him up and see how big he's gonna be, guys. Let's pick him up. It's gonna be a 246.9 gold. I was saying 250 plus and he almost made 250, almost. But there's our shot, took him at 50 yards out, got him a tad bit high, but ended up getting a nice double lung shot at 50 yards, right when he slowed down. I wouldn't exactly say he was stopped, but he wasn't actually walking either, so kind of in between, but a sweet, sweet looking bull. Take a look at this bull right here. You know what's cool about this bull is one, because he's big, and two, because he's unique, but also because he kind of has like a cup to his paddle there. You can see how you could literally drink water with this. You could scoop water. It's like a spoon. He has two giant spoons on both sides. And that to me is super, super unique. And I really, really like that. Now, are we gonna get him mounted? I don't know about that. I really don't know if we're gonna drop 6K to get this guy mounted. I think we'll pull off a KG here and uh, Yeah, that should be good. That should be good. <laughs> a lot cheaper than spending 6K to get this thing mounted. But in case you guys are wondering where we're at here, we literally just unlocked this outpost, the Wabanaki River Lodge. And all of a sudden we got a call from a bull. We looked over there and I could see this massive paddle coming in right towards us. He was probably bedded over here, which is interesting because I would have thought he would have been drinking at this point. And he was just kind of like roaming around this area. Ended up calling him into about 50 yards. Started going crossways here. We went to full draw and took a 50 yard shot and made a perfect shot, double lunk. He went about 50 yards and tipped over. We got another raccoon out here at about 215 right there and we should be able to make a perfect shot on him. Yep, smoked him. So actually held a tad bit high because this thing does well it does shoot a little bit high but it was also 215 plus and we're zeroed in for 160 so i feel like we should have had a tad bit of drop and we must have because he didn't go very far at all maybe about 10 yards and piled up right next to this tree wow that was perfect that was absolutely perfect beautiful bull moose 150 yards out. That bull is almost like the bull that we just took. We have a bad win, so we're going to be going for a shot. Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> we shot right below the heart. <laughs> I'm wondering if that was a clean miss, though. But here he is down right over here. This bull actually might be even bigger than the bull that we just got with the bow. Or it could be the same size. It looks very similar either way. He's definitely a beautiful bull. All right, we'll take a picture and let's pick him up. It's not even close to the same size. It's a great looking bull and a good bull, but he's not very wide. So 236, the bull that we got before was almost 250. But our second shot connected just barely on that bull. So the first shot, we took the shot just like this. Wait a second, how far was that shot? 150, oh, I don't know about that. So our first shot should have hit like right here. Anyways, our follow-up shot almost got the heart but just barely clipped the lung there as he was about to take off. So you know what, I'll take it. Fox, 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 fox. Got it, got it, he's hit, he's hit. Took a quartering away shot, but he's definitely hit. And we got something taken off way out in the front as well. Ooh, bull moose, there's our fox. Well. That'll definitely put an end to that fox, I'll tell you that. <laughs> And let's just say it's got a little bit more knockdown power than say that AR-223. Just a tad bit. All right. 
Ended up getting an intestine, stomach, liver shot. 100 yards. Ooh, there's a fox out there. About 230 yards. And I think we're going to throw on our sniper scope onto the 223 real quick. Bust that out and try for a shot. Woo! Perfect shot. I'm thinking we actually pulled off a double lung spine shot on that fox at about 250 yards. But what a nice, beautiful, wide opening over here. Look at this. Holy. You want to talk about doing a deer drive? I mean, this is honestly a prime location. You could literally have guys pushing from three different directions here. So you basically have someone coming from here, someone coming from here, and someone coming from here. And you push, you know, right towards this lake here. And they're all going to come out busting right through this opening here. And you're going to have just a blast. All right, let's find our fox. And see how we did. One lung shot on the walk at 240 yards. So absolutely beautiful shot and a sweet looking fox to finish off the hunt. It's going to be a 6.5, but it's a red, red fox. Look at how cool that fox is. Anyways, that is going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.